three teenagers at a bus stop just south of Jerusalem on the night of June 12th. Naftali Frankel and Gilad Shah are 16 years old and Eyal Yifrach 19 years old. Their last communication was at 10.30 p.m. They have disappeared, taken by Hamas terrorists. The search continues for three teenagers who went missing in the West Bank late Thursday night. Officials believe three teens, all Jewish and between the ages their of names 16 are Gilad Shar, Elad Yifrak, and Naftali Frankel, who might be an American citizen. My son citizen. texted me, said he's on his way home, and then he's alive. gone. Report. Every mother's nightmare is waiting and waiting endlessly for her child to come An entire home. nation came together holding its breath. People around the world prayed and hoped. We just want them back in our homes, in their beds. We just want to hug them again. But that did not happen. You are watching CNN. Got some breaking news for you uh, on this on Monday afternoon. An update for you. Israel says the bodies, bodies of, of the three boys missing were Israeli found teenagers near Hebron. Have been found. The news of their brutal murder has been painful and impossible to absorb. So who could do it? Who could murder a 19-year-old, two 16-year-old boys? Well, Israeli Prime Minister... Israel is mourning as funerals were held for the three teens. The grief and outrage over these murders tonight in Israel is extraordinary. Eyal, Naftali, and Gilad, we all mourn for you. My 16-year-old son, Naftali, sends us a text and he says he's on his way home. Next thing we know, we're in the middle of the most surreal situation. Those 18 days, they were filled with the darkest hours, but also amazing hours. We discovered our family, our friends, our community, our country, our people. Cape Town, in Kathmandu, in Australia. There were delegations from all over North America, Europe. People all over were saying, these are not just your boys, these are our children. It's no illusion. What we saw about ourselves, we're part of something huge. We're part of a people, of a true family. That's for real. Rosh Hashanah is coming up. Let's all choose an act, large or small, to keep the spirit of those days alive. It was said, we went out searching for the boys and we discovered ourselves. My name is Randy. My name is Renee. It's Max. It's Mark. Hi, my name is Michelle. Ben. My name is Vicky, and this is Benjamin. And my name is Alan. My name is Jeff. Hi, my name is Murray. I'm Barbara. My name is Scott. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm Peter. My name is Charlie. I took upon myself the mitzvah of... The mitzvah of coming uh, for Minyan every morning. Coming to shul every Friday morning. Coming to the Daily Minion. Saying the Shema every single night. Have Rabbi Lush come out to our orthopedic medical office and hang approximately 25 mezuzot. Mitzvah of Lehov Reicha Kamocha. Mitzvah of Tachelet. Form the mitzvah of being a proud Jew. Planting trees in Israel. Form the mitzvah of bringing joy to the lives of young men. To do more good deeds and give tzedakah. Tzedakah and lighting Shabbos candles. Putting tefillin every morning. Playing tefillin at least once a week. Wrapping tefillin with my sons. The mitzvah of putting on tefillin every day and saying the Shema when I get up in the morning and when I go to bed at night. To say the Shema. Saying the Shema in the morning and at night. We're going to learn Hebrew together. Make my house kosher. My family and I koshered our kitchen. The mitzvah of? Lighting candles every Friday night of installing the mezuzah from the mitzvah of modernity, modernity for a whole year. year. I've contributed to Ifrat. ceremony, traditional ceremony of the option that's of the third hair cutting. We're also dedicating this option as in loving memory of the three boys, uh, Naftali, Yal, and Gilad. Teach the women of my congregation the, the laws of family purity and the mikvah. Saying modernity in the morning, and the Shema at night. Saying the Shema at night. Of giving tzedakah. To give tzedakah to the mitzvah. Baking challah every Shabbat. The mitzvah of Habdallah. Be happy. Be happy. Kiss the mitzvah. Kind to my friends. Chesed. To Hila, um every Shabbat. Giving tzedakah every day. Alvat Yisrael. Of washing my hands in the morning. In loving memory. 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 This in memory. In loving memory. In loving memory of the three boys. 
Naftali, Gilad, and Eyal were abducted. Gilad, one of the three boys, had the courage to take his cell phone and call the police to whisper the words, they kidnapped us. He left the phone on. And in the background, you hear the recording of these evil people who were shouting to the three boys, lower your heads, Toridu Tarosh, lower your heads. Those words were left ringing in the conscience of our people. But our response, our response was to lift our heads up high. Here at Congregation Bet Tefillah, we united with the people of Israel to lift our head one mitzvah at a time, one light at a time, one ascent at a time. I hope that the three boys are looking from the heavens and saying they tried to lower our heads. But no, thanks to each and every mitzvah of these precious Jews here in this community and beyond, they weren't successful because the head of our nation Israel remains up high.